being at BOA Grand Nationals means you know, you've put in so much work and now you can finally have an outlet for it that's different than any any other any sport or any other you know art you can do so we're doing a show it's called fractured moments uh it's it's based on antonin Gotti's uh, mosaic work. Uh, so it's been our goal in the whole process is to use the students to to become a mosaic. So it starts uh, early in the show with all gray scale. Gray was you know the old boring architecture back before uh, this guy came. And when the colors come out, it's supposed to be the new the new era of architecture, and it's supposed to be creative and fun and everything that. Uh, our program is. And halfway through the show we go into color so we try to introduce one soloist um, that has a, a red you know mosaic top if you will they get rid of their jacket and then eventually after that the whole band becomes different colors. so every section has a different color uh, and the ending set is everybody coming together they're wearing tile pieces on their hats and uh, we cover up props and, and we try to create an actual mosaic. Get pulse in your feet, don't be early. Fanfare tempo, yes? Get pulse in your feet. You watch all the different bands, you know, and it's amazing what people come up with. You, you hear a concept and you go, huh, I wonder what they're gonna do with that, and you watch. You know, these concepts just evolve and they change and all of a sudden it becomes these really cool works of art in themselves. You're taking music uh, that's, that's great music and sometimes arranging it to fit what's happening visually and sometimes arranging the visual to what happens with the music uh, but you're trying to create a production you know you're trying to create something that is as artistic you know as artistic as, as things that happen in you know some of the best theaters in the country so. They learn discipline and they learn hard work and they learn how to work as a team and they learn how to create structure in their lives and you know be able to balance the the band schedule with their homework and and all of the things that go on and uh, that really is the most valuable thing of the of the whole process I mean you see these kids go from you know freshmen in high school and they don't know what they're doing they're lost out of their mind and then all of a sudden they're seniors and you go you know what I remember when you forgot all your stuff every day to practice and you're about to go to an Ivy League college you know they they learn these things and they grow up tell the kids all the time, you know, you may be the best eighth grade trumpet player, but that, how far is that going to go? Or you may be the best person at your university, but in, in reality, what it comes down to is, is are you going to commit yourself and are you going to do something at a high level? And it takes, you know, much more effort than you think it does. And it should take more effort because for it to be rewarding at the end, you need to go through hard times. And the kids learn that in the process of this activity. Musically, we've all improved a lot. And we've all gotten a lot better. Visually, we've all improved a lot and gotten a lot better. But I think m most notably, you know, we've kind of grown as a group of performers, not just a bunch of performers doing the same thing. Like we're a cohesive unit rather than a bunch of people doing different things. These are some of my best friends that I've ever seen, like I've ever met, and they will continue to be my best friends. And to be able to go out on that field and play with them, that's the best feeling in the world. Yeah, horns. That's right. It's for us. It's about experiences, and and you know we tell the parents and the kids that's what we're trying to create is experiences. You know, you want kids to leave a program uh, and look back and go, you know what, I got so much value from that, and I remember this and this and this and this and all these things, and and this, you know, Grand Nationals is is a huge experience from them.
you know, in Texas, it'll be 105 degrees and we'll have to go outside and it's easy to just, oh, why are we here, you know? But I think this program has definitely made me be able to see the bigger picture and what, what you're putting all the work in for and just ignoring what is around you, what, what your circumstances are, and just be able to put any, any amount of work that you need to in at the time. school kids are, are brilliant and they think they can do anything and really they can you know if you give them the resources and the things they need they can do anything working with high school kids I think you can see that when you work with them you can see the look in their face and like I think we can do this and I think we can do that and that excitement is infectious and it and it works you know and so when when I see that as a teacher I think that's what we learn from them is to never doubt them and to put them in in situations where they have the opportunity to succeed It's something that they'll remember for the rest of their lives and that, you know, as teachers, that's what we're trying to create, uh, are moments for them that they can look back and go, man, it was a great moment. And you see it. I mean, kids will cry, you know. You'll see a 17-year-old boy start crying. That doesn't happen very often unless something is emotional and meaningful to them and they care about it. And then when they succeed and they accomplish something that's been hard, it's, it's meaningful. You can't really describe how the feeling on the field is. It's, you can't put it in words. It's amazing. All the memories, all the hard work that we put in every single day, all the hours, all the hard work, blood, sweat, tears, literally sometimes, you know, it's, it's amazing. And just to see it all be put together at the end with the final run, it feels really good. I could never be more proud of what I just put out there and what the Color Guard just did. It's really amazing to see how we've grown and to see how the program and the Color Guard has grown so much and to know that that's what we just did, I, I couldn't be more happy. This means a lot to you, doesn't it? That's what I've been doing my four years of my life and it's a lot, but it, it's, it's amazing. It's worth it? Totally. Nothing could be more worth it. What's the feeling though coming off the field now for the very last time? It's a little, it's bittersweet. It's, I'm glad it's over because I mean, put all this work in and I'm, I'm glad that we just did that, but at the same time, I'm gonna miss it more than anything.